Well, I don't know if you're like me, but you have things in your craft room that are broken or that you'd like to adapt to make life a little bit easier for you. I use this scalpel quite a lot when I'm doing paperwork or cutting out. And actually, I'm starting to get a little bit of arthritis in my finger there, and it makes my hand ache holding it like this all the time. I've also broken this file, have got no handle for it. And I want to see if I can make another mould out of this because it, this mould is getting to its last legs and I don't want to not have it. So what I've got is some of this white morph plastic. It's a completely non-toxic plastic because people make fangs and things like that for Halloween. And what you do is you add some hot water. It needs to be 62 degrees or above into a bowl. And this comes in little white balls and then you pour it in like that. And then when they've gone clear it's ready to be used as you can see that's starting to go clear now in there once they've gone completely clear all you need to do is collect them all up and they kind of connect to each other as well which is really handy so you don't waste any and then take them out now if your water's really hot this is going to be quite hot so let that cool for a minute or two first i'm going to rub it into a little ball so it's all squidged up there we go so that's done and what i want to do is make this a lot more comfortable on my hand i would probably been better off doing this without the blade on it but there we go so that is the shape that i hold it in and now i'm going to leave that to cure or to go solid again while it's in that shape. And then I've got a nice, perfect, much more comfortable knife to be able to use. So that's that one. So I'm just gonna put this in front of the fan for a couple of seconds to try and cool it off. I'm just holding this in front of my fan for a few seconds to get it to cool off and to go solid again. And then what I'll do is I'll see if I can make a handle and I've not tested this before, see if I can cast that. So let's have a go at repairing the file. Put that in there. Hopefully that water hasn't cooled down too much. Like I said, it does all stick itself to itself when you're swishing it around, which is great. And that's going nice and clear now. And this is cooling off really well. That is going to be so much nicer for me to use because I'm going to be pushing down. I've got a bigger bit to grip on as well. Let's squidge all that together. I put it back in that water because I need it to heat up a little bit more. And the water had got a bit, look, because I've got my hand in the water. You can see it's cooled right down. Okay, that should be enough now. What I'm going to do is make a nice shape handle for this, pushing it all together. And then I'm going to take my file, push that in there, squeeze that on. And then I can pop that into some cold water if I want to actually cool it right down. Now, I don't like the shape of that handle. It's not come out very well. So I can just pull it off, stick it back in the bowl, run some hot water over and you can remelt it as many times as you like and then once it's gone clear again then you're all good to go now i'm not sure about if it's going to stick to this silicon or not i'm going to try it first without any mold release and see what happens this is just a test because if i do have to replace the mold then i have to replace the mold look that's a quite a large thicker lump the thicker lumps do take longer to go clear obviously <laughs> than the little balls but it is going clear. Let's break it up a bit. You've got endless of me. If you broke your glasses, you could use it to mend your glasses. There's so much you could do with this. I think it's a great little project. And this isn't sponsored at all by them. I just happened to find this product. Now, I just want to say a massive thank you, though, to everybody that got me a coffee last month. I really do appreciate it. Your names are coming up now on the coffee board. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee to help support my channel, allow me to keep growing and buying all things like this to test out, then the link for that is in the description below and you'll get on my coffee board. I only need about half of that, I think, that I had before. And what I'm also going to do is dry it a little bit and then wrap it round. Push that down so it's got a nice handle shape. Keep that in there because I want to be able to put that in there. Yeah, I'm much happier with that. Now I'm going to stick it in that cold water. I'm just going to add a little bit more of this to it for this mould. We'll wait for that to dissolve and see how that goes. Okay, I think that's melted enough. And what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to pull bits off like that at a time. So I can ensure that firstly I'm getting everywhere fully covered if I can. And I'm also giving it a lot of pressure to make sure it gives a great mould. And it should stick to itself really, really well. And then what I'll do is I won't mix up some silicon specially for this. If I've got a bit spare, then what I can do is make a little box out of this so it's all ready. And then cast it once I've got some spare silicon. I like to have things like that ready and available. There's quite a lot of details in this mould. So I want to make sure I get them all. Make sure that's as flat as we can get it on the top. 
or the base, I suppose it is. I don't know if this is going to work because I've not done this before, but I want to see because if it does, it will be a game changer for me with mold making. There we go, we'll leave that. Here's the file, and that has now worked really, really well. That's not going to come off there, but if I want it to come off there, all I've got to do is heat it up. I can reuse it as many times as I like. I am loving this. This is going to make such a difference to me, this blade. I was working yesterday all day, really, with a blade, and my hand was so uncomfortable but now it's all ergonomic for me. Oh, it's so much nicer. You've got to try it. Might help if my paper weren't wet, but yeah, that's cut out lovely. I love that. That is such a boon. Well, that's all gone hard now, so let's see if it has stuck to... Oh, no, it hasn't stuck to the thing. Oh, it needs to cool off a little bit more, but so far I can see it's really, really pulled out all those details. I'm going to trim up these edges while it's a little bit softer where I over-poured, because that'll make it easier for when I come to cast it. And obviously I'm going to keep all those bits because I can just remount them. Put them back in my bag. I'm not sure if you can see how well that has picked up all the details, even the little tiny ridges and the hieroglyphs. And the other wonderful thing is, as soon as I've cast this in silicon, I could just remelt it or put it back in the bag and use it over and over again. It's going to be a great saver. So, I've made a handle, a nice holder for my knife. I hope you've enjoyed that video on the white morph. I will link it in the description below if you want to get hold of it. It's really easy to use, there's no doubt about it, and really useful. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next, and don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button as well. Take care, enjoy your crafting, bye.